Don't take any notice of old rat. Oh, Sheldon's rat and I. Is he looking after you? Oh, yes. I'm having a wonderful time. Oh, this is Portly, my youngest. He's just had his first swimming lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, Portly, what did you think of the water? Wet, sir? Make you hungry, did it? Fancy some. Potted meat? Oh, yes, sir. Well, tuck in, tuck in. What do you say, Portly? Thank you, sir. Who's out on the river today? Oh, who's not out, you mean? Talk about cheap by a jowl. I've never known the place so crowded. And Toad's out for one. <coughs> who's Toad? Was he in the punt? No, the skiff. I said to him, where's the punt? <laughs> he said, what punt? I said, you had a punt. He said, did I? I said, well, I thought you did. Anyway, turns out he's been showing it off to the ducks and ran it over the weir. <laughs> Same old toad. There's the houseboat saga all over again. Mm, first it was sailing. Then came the houseboat and we all had to go and steer with him on the houseboat. Oh, how lovely. But pretend we liked the houseboat. He was going to spend the rest of his life in a houseboat. It's the same, really, whatever he takes up. Oh, he's lucky to have the money to do it. Oh, so does he have a lot of money, then? Oh, Toad's a good fellow. I'm not saying that. He's just unreliable. <laughs> oh, Portland, get up. In you get. In you get. Must I? Yes, and sharpish. Our lunch is rapidly disappearing <laughs> upstream. Thank you for the watching meat, sir. Ugh. Well, time we were moving on. What was his lunch? The loads of paste. Oh, th that was just a snack. No, the Todgers really like a mayflies. Oh, a uh, ratty? Can I have a go uh, <laughs> on the way back? Not yet, old chap. Let's have a few lessons first. I tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. Anyhow, the current's with us, so I'll just let her drift. Oh, goodness, <laughs> there we go. Anyway, the current's with us, so I'll just let her drift. No rush on the river, you see. <coughs> you know, I've never told anyone this before, Mole, but I'm a bit of a poet. Well, I've been worried about it. It's probably just a stage. <laughs> I want to have a shot of trombone. I feel like there's a poem just waiting to be written about ducks. Ducks? All along the backwater, through the rushes tall, ducks are a-dabbling. Yeah, what? Dabbling. Uh, I thought you said gabbling. Uh, it could be gabbling, couldn't it? Yes, but I think dabbling's better. Now I've lost my thread. All along the backwater, through the rushes tall, ducks are dabbling. Up tails all. Oh, here we are. Home. Is 
Is it about dogs? How on earth did you know that? I sort of guessed. <laughs> Would you like me to recite it? Would you like to recite it? Oh, well, if you insist, I'd rather sing it. <laughs> say anywhere else. I saw that, Ratty. He's telling you I'm a bit of a show-off, Mr. Mole. Well, perhaps I am. You know, some people are modest and some are not, and I, I am not. And why should I be? I've got nothing to be modest about. <laughs> but listen, this is most important. I need you to help me, both of you. Oh, put your rowing, I suppose. Well, you're getting on fairly well, though you still splash a bit. Boating Ratty Ha! A footling amusement. Now, I mean, I can see it amuses you in a curious sort of way, but I feel I've sort of grown out of it somewhat. No, close your eyes, prepare yourselves for a revelation. This is something to which I'm going to devote the rest of my life. Yes, the open road, the dusty highway. Go inside, my young friend. Have a look around. The heath, the common, the hedgerow. Here today, somewhere else tomorrow. Interest, travel, change, excitement. Oh, Ratty, you must come in. Oh, there's a little cooking show. A strange picture of Toad. Um, oh, little bookshelf. Oh, I'm damaged to the bugs. Oh, it's all so cosy. I help yourself to a sardine, young man. There are there's some in the locker down there, or a chocolate biscuit, or, or both of them. I promise you, nothing has been forgotten. <laughs> now, I suggest we start off in what say you? Half an hour? Oh yes, yes, please. Oh. Tonight, me and you say something about we and start. Uh, Ratty, you can't get all stiff and huffy on me. You've got to calm. <laughs> I mean, you can't mix stick your old river, I mean... Yes, and live in a muddy hole in the bank and boat. Why not? Because, Ratty Moly, I'm going to show you the world. I do not want to see the world. 
from what I've seen of it so far, it has very little to recommend it. And everybody doing things, getting somewhere. You mean the rat race? <laughs> I can't think why they call it that. Anyway, I'm not coming and that's flat. And what's more, Mole is not coming either, are you Mole? Yeah, oh, uh, 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 no. <laughs> it does look as if it would be well. <clears throat> Rather fun? No! I belong here. But ratty, ratty, I am going to show you an England you've only ever dreamed of. An England of heath and common and hedgerow. Tonight we will dine on the downs. We will eat chops and cheese and bread and freshly churned butter washed down with great swills of beer. And then after supper we'll lie back smoke our pipe and look up at those stars which have gazed down on this England of ours for thousands of years! Oh yes, yes, yes! Never fails! <laughs> of course I'm still not here myself, but since Molly clearly wants to go... Only if you do ratty! And it may be that I am a bit set in my ways. Excellent, right, all settled. Well, if you can have a word with the horse then, he's being a bit tiresome. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to get changed into my caravan in clothes. Wait, <laughs> There are caravan in clothes? I did not know that! Well, there'll always have to be some sort of clothes for it, or Toad wouldn't want to do it. Now, Albert, what's the matter? Oh, it's Toad. He wants me to pull this caravan, but I'm not supposed to pull things. Doctor's orders. <laughs> you see, when I pull things, I pull other things, like muscles. Oh, Albert. And don't start all that stroking. I don't like being stroked. <laughs> and don't start smacking me on the side of the neck either, still less on the bottom. You see, when you smack anybody else on the bottom, it's a punishment. But when you're a horse, you're supposed to love it. <laughs> Would you like a carrot? <coughs> yes, as long as it's in a nice cream sauce or maybe sautéed in a bit of bouillon. What I don't want is one of those raw, mucky articles. You see, that's another misconception. One carrot, they think you're anybody's. <laughs> Any road, are you going on this expedition? Oh yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Fun for you, maybe. You're not pulling the cart. Ready? <laughs> Time to go! <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Snacks me on the bomb. <laughs> Will you talk to me? Of course I'll talk to you. Yeah, because he never does. His conversation's limited to G up and work. <laughs> right, G up! No, not my idea of a feast of reason or a flow of soul. To which I never get no supper. Any supper! I never get any supper! Oh. And when I say supper as well, I don't mean one of those nosebag things, you know, where all the kippers get mixed up with the custard. Yes! <laughs> don't worry, we'll give you food and talk to you. Oh. There you go again, desist! <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? What happened to the houseman? Yeah, and the bike and the punt. Yeah, such a, such good people. How pleased one is to be able to bring a little bit of joy into their dreary little lives. <laughs> Happy Ratty. I am rather. Yes, and who wouldn't be just rolling in long? As moor gives way to meadow and field to forest, the scene's ever changing, but a change they must, slowly, imperceptibly. That's England, Ratty, that's our England. Well now, this looks a good place to camp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, why don't uh, you two jump down and uh, feed the horse? Now make a fire, that sort of thing. Now normally I like to help with these sorts of chores, but this evening I've got something much more important to do. I need to study the map and plan our route for tomorrow. Hey, old toad. I say, you rabbits? I think you mean us. You look at the loose end. Of course we are. We're rabbits. Mind giving us a hand? I don't know. What do you think? I will.
Petra. I don't talk about my river, do I, Molly? What? Oh, uh, no, not much. I think about it, though. You know I'm ready? What? So do I. Time to turn in, I think. Yes. Good night, you fellows. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Oh. Wait, hang on a minute. Tony didn't do the washing up. No, he's never done the washing up in his life. He likes the idea of camping, but there always has to be someone to fetch and carry. Us. Well, we'll see about that. Good night, Molly. Good night, Ratty. Oh, good night, Albert. Oh, we're asleep till you said good night. <laughs> Very 
nice, would it? Could have been quite oh. dangerous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
dear me, you mustn't call me Mr. Badger. No, my friends call me Badger. Oh, well, you know, my friends call me Molly. Do they? The badge to all the nicknames. He'd probably be happier calling you Mole. <laughs> Rat knows best, as always. <laughs> Tell me, what's been happening in your part of the world? How's friend Toad getting on? Oh, another smash up last week, and this time a bad one. He will insist on driving himself, but what he can't he... do it for Toffee. What he needs is a chauffeur. Exactly. I said to him, get a steady, well-trained animal. A hedgehog, for instance. They're very good on the road. <laughs> <laughs> How many has he had? A smashes of machines? Oh, well, it's the same thing with Toad. This is his seventh. He's been in hospital four times. Oh, I'm a find. Has he, Molly? Dear me. And that's part of the trouble. Toad's well off, we all know, but he's not a millionaire. Bankrupt or killed, it's going to happen sooner or later, unless... Unless you and me take him in hand. Well, quite. Of course, you understand I can't do anything right oh, now. yes, of course, of course. Why not? Winter. I never do anything much in the winter, but it's a different thing when it gets to spring. In the spring, I have more bounce. Do you feel that in the spring, Mommy? Yes. I know I do. So that's decided. As soon as it gets to spring, the first item on the agenda is for you, me, and Mo to take Toad seriously in hand. Now, you'll have to snuggle down on these chairs if that's all right. <laughs> right, you've got a blanket. <clears throat> and here's a nice quilt for Mo. <laughs> Just this once, we'll skip brushing our teeth. <laughs> Little toes warm, are they? Huh? Yes, thank you, Badger. Good, good. You comfortable, Rat? I mean, I'm all right. <coughs> night, night. Good night, Badger. You like old Badger? Yes. Not too fierce for you? Fierce? I thought he was very nice. He is nice. And understanding. Though, of course, that comes with age. He seems much older than you or I. I didn't seem old to me. Though, he is old. How old exactly would you... <laughs> <coughs> Good Lord. Little chap's asleep. Seems old to me, Badger. <laughs> you see, Chief, if I had bitten their heads off when I'd wanted to, we would have been fast asleep by now. Norman? Yes, Chief? Are you a happy weasel? Yes, Chief. Fine, Marsha. And are you desirous of continuing in that state? Yes, Chief. Then shut your gob! <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a nice bowl of porridge for Tommy. Thank you, sir. And another bowl for Billy. Say thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm... Oh, just going into my study to catch up on my correspondence. <laughs> it's not like Mum's porridge. I know, but we mustn't leave any. Good morning, sir. As you are, as you are. Where's Mr. Badger? He's gone into his study, sir, to catch up on his correspondence. Oh, hello, Tommy. Hello, Billy. Hello, Mr. Mole. What's all this din? Oh, sorry, Badger. Did, did they disturb you? No, 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 I was... <sighs> just catching up with my correspondence. Ah, <laughs> oh, my dear mole little chap. How are you this morning? Did you sleep? Oh, yes, even better than at Ratty's. <laughs> Ratty, why don't you go into the kitchen? Help yourself to some breakfast. <laughs> Off you go, you hedgehogs. You won't need any lunch today after all that lovely porridge. <laughs> Now, go straight home. How do you get on with Ratty? Very well, we're very good friends. Uh, keep you in order, does he? Well... Right way and the wrong way? Yes, I suppose, but I don't mind. Ah, that's because you're like me, down to earth. Trouble with Ratty is he can sometimes get a bit... Well, Ratty? <laughs> <laughs> 
What is it? <laughs> Can't we all share it? I wish I could find something to laugh at. Anyway, seems to me we're in a spot. The wild wooders could break out at any time, and that's why, come the spring, we've got to do something about Toad. Why wait for the spring? I beg your pardon. You said spring. I know what I said. I said spring. But the curious thing is, I feel it's spring. I have that spring feeling. Do you? Good. You know, um, me too. Yeah. Good. So, the hour has come. Whose hour? Toad's hour. Now, are we all ready? No, Ratty, leave the washing up. Now, we don't want to upset the wild wooders any more than we have to. So, we won't go out by the front door. What other way is there? Lots of ways. I'm sure Mole's house is the same. Yes. I've got a secret entrance that leads right to the edge of the wild wood. Mole, you take my hand. Rat, you bring up the rear. Next stop, Toad Hall. Come along, Rat. Keep up with Mole and me. Don't do it. Persuasion? Let's see what force can do. Take off those ridiculous clothes. Sharp, sharp, sharp! Take them off, you two! Hey, what are you doing? You can't do this! Get off! Ow! Let go! You can't do this! These are my talks! <laughs> Ow! What are you doing, you two? You keep bagging me! <laughs> this hasn't happened since I was in school. <laughs> 
Give me joy. An investment? It's fun. Now, Molly, you're a young person. You understand these things. You tell him. Make him put on some proper clothes and send those to the jumble sale. My lovely tots <laughs> in a jumble sale. But it'll take time, <coughs> days, weeks even. <laughs> How's Mr. Toad? How's his character? Getting better, but he's still refusing to walk. That hedgehog is wearing my coat. Yes, I look rather a dog in it, don't you think? No, I do not. Are you not fit to wear it? Take it off, take it off immediately, Cut. take it. I think you'd better go. Tragic. Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the sun. Give me 
the sun. Toad, Tony. What? <laughs> Hang on. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> I should have been an actor. No, that's no <laughs> job for a person of my intelligence. Is it getting dark? Give me the sun! Brilliant, brilliant. I was quite moved myself. <laughs> Certainly fool Ratty. Mind you, it doesn't take much to fool Ratty. I mean, he's a worthy fellow in all sorts of ways, you know, but not much in the intelligence department. As Badger will no doubt tell him soon enough. Oh, they're such children. They think I'm an idiot, but I sometimes think I'm the only grown-up around here. Brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. sent away. Perhaps I could go for a little spin in it. No, no, that would be stealing. But, but I could just go for a little drive, just whilst they're having lunch. No, no, that would be very naughty. Oh, perhaps I could just sit in it and see if it starts easy. is a cow 
cow or a weasel might exercise an Oxford philosopher, but it need not detain us here. Uh, sir, sir. Oh, I'm fed up with being interrupted. What is it? Well, the prisoner brought a hen of my acquaintance to the brink of near nervous collapse. She didn't know whether she was coming or going. Rubbish. Hens never do know whether they're coming or going. Yeah. Well, when this one did, she was very single-minded. Only now she's lost her head completely. <laughs> oh, I am a fox with a conscience, Your Honour. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more. Despite all these objections, I still retain a favourable impression I had of the prisoner when he first stepped into the dock. Yeah. I to the countryside mansion, where who knows, one day I might be a guest. Oh yeah, you'd be uh, invited, <coughs> very welcome at any time, Your Honour. Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh, Though that really? does not affect my judgment in the least. No, no, uh, quite, no. Quite, quite, quite. Do you do some catering for breakfast? Oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> and deviled kidneys. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. However, catering and kidneys to one side, my inclination is to let the prisoner go free. <laughs> Namely, the prisoner must never ever drive a motor car again. Oh. Oh. He must never ever drive. What do you say to that? Never. What? Excellent. Oh. Case dismissed. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas. Anyway, goodbye, Molly, old chap. Safe journey. Tone's brave. See his song, of course. It's very foolish if you ask me. He should have kept his mouth shut. Well, at least he went down fighting. Yes. Silly fellow. Oh, you're always so sensible, rat. You can't bear to think of toad stuck in a dark, damp dungeon. No, it's no place for a toad.
that's Garibaldi. Was he a mole? No, he was a hero of modern Italy. That's Queen Victoria. Was she a hero of modern Italy? No, though she could have been if she wanted to be. Oh, that's my family. There were 14 of us. But Frank and Claude, Winfred and Jane, oh, she got caught in a trap and made it to a waistcoat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's one of the risks of being a mole. People are always wanting you for waistcoats. Oh. It's not a patch in your place, Ratty. But nonsense, old chap. I'm sure it's absolutely delightful. Oh, Ratty. Why ever did I do it? Do what, old fellow? Bring me to this cold, damp, dark place where we could be at the riverbank, toasting our toes around a warm, cosy fire. Oh, absolute nonsense, old chap. What a capital place, so compact, so labour-saving. <laughs> Mom, I congratulate you. It's perfect. You really think so? Look, uh, the stove's laid already, so we'll soon have the place warm. Meanwhile, why don't you have a duster and have a little dust around? Ah, there we go. Oh, Ratty, do you like this little bunk under the stairs? That was my idea. <laughs> I like it all, Molly. It's so... Cozy. What is it now? Supper. I have nothing to give you for supper. Not a crumb. Oh, absolute tosh, old chap. What's this? A sardine opener? If there's an opener, then there must be the werewolf that's to be opened. <coughs> Namely, a tin of sardines. <laughs> and, um, uh, what's this? A tin of biscuits? Favourite? Yes. And a German sausage. And what's this? Oh, you dark horse beer. It's a banquet. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to be 
be home again and start to see my old things again, but I don't really want to leave the riverbank. I'm really? happy the way we are. I thought you might. And you know, as I said, it's nice seeing all my old things again, but no, I am happy the way we are. Molly? Yes, Ratty? Thanks, old chap. <laughs> Comely lass. <laughs> Who knows when this is all over, we might be able to find you a position below stairs. Below stairs? You're a convict. You've been here for 20 years. Oh, I've forgotten. 20 years? 20 years? There, there. I'm a fool to myself, I know. But I've got a real soft spot for you. 
Yes, well, don't blame yourself, my dear. Many people do. It's called charm. <laughs> I just wish I could think of a way of getting you out of here. Washing? What's that your washing? Here comes my aunt. She's the washerwoman. Yeah, well, don't blame yourself, my dear. I have several aunts who ought to be washerwomen. Washing? What's that your washing? Uh, she washes for all the convicts in the castle. Uh, lovely. Uh, all those big men's vests and dirty smalls. Actually, you're not that unlike one another. I beg your pardon. Only she can come and go if she pleases. Yes, well, lucky her. Listen, Toad, you're very rich and, well, Auntie's very poor. Yes, well, that's the way of the world, my dear. Auntie's probably happy and carefree, whereas we rich are burdened with our responsibilities. I mean, I myself sit on the board of several companies. <laughs> what I mean, silly, is that I'm sure if you made it worth her while, she might lend you her clothes and you could escape disguised as her. Auntie! Me? Dress as a washerwoman? <laughs> that was a distasteful idea. I mean, couldn't I be a high-born novelist or a distinguished lazy visitor or something like that. I mean, her. Him? I don't see the line at all. Give her some money. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Um, here we are. Mm, yes, I am beginning to see a distant resemblance. <laughs> oh, we can practically be sisters. Now, Aunt, first thing to do is change your clothes. Change my clothes? What for? It's not Friday. The disguise, madam, the disguise. Undress. Here, I'm a married woman. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. You've been paid. Oh, yes, that's it, isn't it? You've been paid. Now take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Just down to my boomers. Life has to be awesome. <laughs> Very nice. Believe me, madam, this is far more distressing for me than it is for oh, you. Is it? <laughs> These are particularly smelly. Oh, the cheek! <laughs> Well, listen, Sunshine, you just should be grateful for what you've got. Yes, well, I'm not sure I'd be grateful for these for very much longer. But uh, I have to say, you look or rather fetching. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> now we'll tie you up. Tie that? Oh, yes. Good no, idea. No, no, Tell me go over power. Tie that. Yes, yes. yes. Sit down. Good. Oh, my. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you nasty blighter. <laughs> <laughs> this was not possible. No, that's <laughs> enough for you, madam. What? Now you've got the dress on, you make a very good woman. Ah, yes, it is rather elegant, uh, but I'm not sure it's quite my colour, darling. Oh, you look just a ticket. Auntie, stop the phone. I love you. Yes. <laughs> I don't think it would be difficult to get past the guard. You see, my aunt is a woman of unblemished reputation. Well, you do. And a cute Methodist. <laughs> and the guard is sure to keep his distance. What do you mean, keep his distance? Well, you know, men. So, good luck, little Toad, if you ever get back to your nice house. Remember the humble jailer's daughter, who took fancy to you. Oh, yes, I shall, I shall. And if we open up the house to ordinary people, perhaps you might come round for tea. Oh. Um, this is a far, far better thing you do than you've ever done before. Bye-bye to Auntie. Oh. Free at last. Now I must make a beeline for Toad Hall and get out of this malodorous frock. <laughs> Hello, Toad. Uh, I beg your pardon. Say, hello, Toad. Uh, uh, no, no, not Toad. I am a washwoman. Yes, and I'm Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> this isn't another one of your daft ideas, is it? I mean, caravans, cars, and now dressing up in women's clothing. It's my disguise. Well, I've penetrated it. Who are you, anyway? What? You don't recognise me? I'm not in disguise. I'm one of your ex-employees, Albert. Oh yes, Albert, my long-lost friend, my trusty steed. Cue for bottom smacking. <laughs> How are you, anyway? Well, after that caravan incident, my doctor advised me to seek employment. 
in a less, as it were, stressful occupation. Preferably one where motor cars don't come up behind me and without so much as a bi-orally biff me on the bottom. Hence the barge coming slowly around the bend. <laughs> the lady on the barge is the barge lady, my new employer. Virginia, all oh, she isn't, but all oh, her pie and peas are to cooking what Michelangelo was to seal in painting. <laughs> Here, let me introduce you. No, 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 she mustn't know that we know each other. There, there, old fellow. Don't do that. Nice morning, ma'am. Oh, no, is it, is it? Uh, not for a poor washerwoman who this very morning had a letter from her married daughter telling her to drop everything and come at once. Uh, are you a mother, madam? I was one. So where does married daughter of yours live, ma'am? Oh, well, I'm on the river. I'm um, very close to a very elegant residence by the name of Toad Hall. Perhaps you've heard of it. Toad Hall, I certainly have. I'm heading that way myself, pop on my barge. One more would make a difference to Albert. One more? Oh, why draw the line at one? One washerwoman won't make no difference. Why not just invite the entire crew of the Snow White Laundry, plus all their dependent relatives? No, Albert won't mind. Why draw the line? He's chin up. He was very depressed earlier on. So you're in the washing line now? Oh, yes, one is a career woman for one since, yes. And you're very fond of washing. Uh, love it, love it. Laundry is my life. Oh, what a blessing I met you. <laughs> we can both do each other a good time. Uh, in what way, precisely? My washing, silly. Oh, even my scanties and whatnot. <laughs> scanties? <laughs> <laughs> the raw materials of your art. Well, I suppose any fool can wash. I well, bet you can't wait. Look at these. <laughs> it's a laundress's banquet. I don't feel very well. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. All properties theft. Perhaps you should 
are novel sensitively. Hello, darling. Why are the waterworks? I have no need to pull my barge. Come again, my love? I've been robbed. A stupid cow's been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, is that stew you've got there? I can really do with some stew. You want to sell me that there horse? Oh yours? no, no, no! I couldn't possibly. No, no, no! Not this fine specimen. I should think not. Shh! I'll give you a shilling a leg. Shilling a leg, eh? <laughs> what are you all to? I'm counting. It comes to two, but I think it should come to four. But anyway, that's, I could never accept four shillings for this fine animal. I should think not. Shut up. I'll give you five. That's three and six more than he's worth. It's a scandal. Shut up. I've got a plan. Listen, Gypsy. Hmm. This is my final offer. Six and six, cash down, plus all the stew that I can eat. It's a wicked price. And me, an old woman. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. Goodbye. Goodbye? You said you had a plan. Yes, I did have a plan. Six and six, cash down, plus all the stew that I can eat. Cheerio! But what about me? Albert, you're going to have to stop thinking about yourself. It creates a very unfortunate impression. Toad! Don't work too hard! <laughs> Why did I let Toad take me in like that? I was happy on the barge. And I was really, really, really happy in my meadow at Toad Hall. And now I'm going to have to pull a rag and bone cart round the back streets, never more to gallop in green fields. Oh.
its tone, who else would have eluded his pursuers in such a daredevil fashion? Is, is that a frog? Yes, yes, it's rather elegant, don't you think? Oh, Toadie, Toadie, how are you? Oh, we missed you, how are you, how are you? Good. Oh. Toad? Uh, yes, Badger. <coughs> is that a dress? Uh, yes, Badger. I thought it was. Go into my bedroom this minute, Toad, and look in my wardrobe. In it you'll find a trace of tweeds. When you've got into something decent, bring down that dress and I will burn it. No, um, is it? Toad? Yeah, uh, yes, Do Badger. as you're told. Uh, yes, Badger. And told? Uh, yes, Badger. Have a cold bath while you're about it. Uh, yes, Badger. At least you're pleased to see me. <laughs> no improvement there. Have you told him? Not yet. Perhaps that will make him change his tune. I doubt it. Listen, you were awfully late, the pair of you, and you went out without your muffler again, Molly. Oh, don't fuss, <laughs> Ravi. Molly's perfectly safe with me. And chew it. <laughs> now, um, I expect the first thing you'll want to do is to hear about my adventures and how I escape from the deepest, darkest dungeon disguised as a glamorous Blanche <laughs> uh, And then after that, I think I'll take a stroll down to Toad Hall, get out of this ghastly tweed, and resume my old life. I don't think there can be any strolling gently down to Toad Hall, old fellow. Why not? Because if you do stroll gently down, then the first thing that will happen to you will be that a soda or a weasel will not so gently take a shot at you. You mean wild wooders around Toad Hall? They're not just around it. They're in it and on it and all over it and have been for months. What, wild wooders inside my beautiful home? Parts of which date back to the 14th century? <laughs> That's insupportable! Well, I'm not scared of them, even if you are. I'm going to go down there and sort them out right away. So, yes, yes, Badger. Uh, yes, Badger. You haven't heard the worst of it. Lowell and I have just come back from one of our patrols. The weasels must have got word of your return. The guards have been doubled. Toad Hall is now a fortress. It's impregnable. Ah, to ordinary folk, maybe. Uh, but to somebody who escaped from the deepest, darkest prison, mere easy peasy. No, I'm going to go down there and sort them out. Do you know what? I'm going to probably do that. Yes, I think you should. I think you should. Shut up! The lot of you! There are more ways of capturing a place than by taking it by storm. Now, I'm going to tell you a great secret. Coming right up in the middle of Toad Hall and leading from the riverbank near here is an underground passage. Rubbish, Badger. There's no such passage. I know every inch of Toad Hall. You must have been listening to too many stories they tell in the new inn. I wasn't <laughs> told this in the new inn, Badger. Tell it, Toad for the very good reason that I have never been in the New Inn. It was told to me by someone for whom I have an immense respect, your father. He discovered the passage, <laughs> repaired it and cleaned it out just in case, and when he showed it to me, he said, don't tell my son about this, he's a good boy. Only what he's not good at is holding his tongue. But if he's ever in a fix, Badger, you can reveal the secret. Not my fault, I'm a bit of a talker. <laughs> I've learned a thing or two lately. There's going to be a big meeting tonight and all the weasels will be gathered in the dining hall, eating and drinking and generally carrying on. And this is the important thing, with no guns or pistols or anything. But that's no good, they'll still be the sentries. Exactly! That's where the secret passage comes in. It comes right up into the butler's pantry. Oh, the squeaky floorboard, now I understand. So, <coughs> will we 
sneak into the butler's pantry. With our swords and sticks. Rush in on them and then whack them and whack them and whack them and whack them. <laughs> when do we move? Tonight. And it will be a hard fought fight. So I, for one, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> and I suggest you all do the same. I'm still worried about the sentries. What are your orders? Nobody is to pass Sergeant Fred, but if anybody does try to get in and, and stop at anything to prevent them, is that right? More or less. So keep your eyes peeled. Yes, Sergeant Fred. Right, Sergeant Fred. <laughs> Who comes there? Forgive me for saying so, but shouldn't it be? Oh, yes, I do! I come to see if you want any washing done today! You don't do washing on duty, or any other time, I bet. What's the trouble, Gerald? Run away, my good woman, run away! Don't show my good woman me! And as for running away, you won't beat me! You'll be running away in a very short time from now! What she mean? Take no notice, Gerald. She ain't know what she's talking about. Oh, don't I? Well, yeah, let me tell you this. My brother, yeah, she washes Mr. Banks, so I don't know what I'm talking about. And you'll know pretty soon, too. A hundred bloodthirsty badges will attack Tony this very night. A hundred? Yes, I mean rifles. That's why right, Pat. Thanks very much for telling us. If we all focus on the planet, we'll easily repel them. You might, and then you might not, because that's not all. Not all, not all, Sergeant. Six boatloads of rats will come up the river and fit land in the garden. We cut the sits of pistols out. <laughs> not to mention the big body of toads known as diehards or the death or glory toads. Which way are they coming? Through the orchard. I call it in the morning, yeah. Yeah, because you might have some undies to wash. <laughs> <laughs> the ferrets on sentry duty, we won't need any guns or pistols. Surprise is our best weapon. Give me one stick and I can clear the whole place single-handed. Yes, so can I! That's all very well, but I prefer to be on the safe side. Oh, very well. Anyway, time's getting on. You best start climbing into all this hardware. Yeah, easy peasy. I'll learn them to steal my house. I'll learn them. Don't, don't say learn them. It's not good English. What are you always nagging at Toad for? What's the matter with his English? It's the same as what I use, and if it's good enough for me, it ought to be good enough for you. <coughs> All I'm saying, Badger, is that I think it ought to be teach him, not learn him. But we don't want to teach him, do we? The time for teaching him has passed. We want to learn him! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. You know best. Can't seem to do anything right these days. Teach them, learn them, learn them, teach them. <laughs> Molly, where have you been? And you've got that dress on now. What is happening? Oh, I've been at Toad Hall putting the wind up for centuries. I told them that Toad Hall was going to be attacked by a hundred bloodthirsty badgers and stop at nothing Toads. You silly ass, Mole. You've got them ruin it this time. For once, Molly, I think Toad's right. Can I ask what effect this news had on the sentries? Well, they were very upset. So I ran this way now and said you wouldn't know which way to turn. I'm sorry, Badger. I thought I was doing the right thing. You were doing the right thing. They will have been completely demoralised. First sign of trouble and they'll be off back to the wild wood. You have more sense in your little finger than some of the animals have in the whole of their fat bodies. No need to be personal. <laughs> Zero hour. <laughs> Molly, old 
much. Uh, uh, whatever Badger says, I think it's going to be a pretty big show this evening, and I, well, I just want you to know that if anything happens to me, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Good luck, old chap. Do well. Ready, Terry? <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> I've told you, I don't need any. I can do all that needs to be done with this here stick. This stick here, but take some sticking plaster. Oh. Just for my sake. Very well. Now, I should go first. Rat next. Yeah, then more. Oh, last. Last? Uh, no, I should be first. I mean, after all, it is my house. So, behave. And if you chatter or do anything silly, I shall be seriously angry and you will be sent back. Surprise, remember? Yes, surprise, you fellows, surprise.
excellent and deserving fellow, I want you to form these sorry looking fellows into a fatigue party and make this, give this place a thorough going over. Come on, you heard the gentleman. Jump to it. I'm reluctant to say it, but I think this victory of ours deserves some kind of celebration. I quite agree. You mean a party? I'm rather good at parties. Good. Then you can write the invitations. Like that, 
than people pay me even more attention. They absolutely love me. It's absolutely wonderful! Thank you.